Hi, hi, welcome to another episode for Between the Desks where I'll be talking about the CSET. I had no idea how expensive it could all be or that I even had to take this test. So I hope this information is super helpful for you, especially if you were confused like me. So stick around, let's have some fun. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that watched my first video and sent me some of the sweetest messages. It really means so much to me. I mean, you see the smile on my face? It's always there, but it's just extra big now because of all of you. So I just wanted to say thank you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Miss B and we're about to get busy. So let's get started. The CSET. So what does it even stand for and what is it? The CSET stands for California Subject Examination for Teachers. It's a group of subject matter tests to assess your mastery of subject content. Where do I register? You will simply go to ctcexams.nesinc.com, shown here. You will then see this is what the website looks like, and you can register at this top bar here. You're going to click Register. Register now. You're going to click the CSET and continue. And so when you're looking at this website, you might be a little overwhelmed because there are a ton of tests you could take. So which one are you supposed to take? Yep. Aren't you glad I asked this question? Here we go. You're going to pick what subset you would like. Here you can see that there are a ton of subsets. And like I mentioned, if you are a single subject candidate, you will have to take the subset for that specific area. If you're looking to get your multiple subject teaching credential, you could see here, see set multiple subject. You will need to take subset one, subset two, and subset three. So where can you take your CSET exams? Once you register to take your test, you'll have to pay before you could pick the time and place to take your test. And what I did is I inputted my zip code, you could see it here, and it found locations that were available to take the CSET. So how much is all of this gonna cost you, you might ask? I got you. So I actually took all my subsets individually, one at a time. And so they cost me $99 per subset, making my grand total of $297. Now, if you'd like to take your subsets all together, meaning all three subsets at one time and get it out of the way, you'll pay $247. So you get a $50 discount, not bad, but here's the catch, timing. So if you decide to take the route that I did, which I highly recommend, uh, although it is a little more expensive, you do get more time to take your subsets. For subset one and two, I was allotted three hours to take each one. And for subset three, I was allotted two hours and 15 minutes. Now, if you decide to take all the tests together at the same time, yes, you do pay less, but you only get five hours to take all the subsets instead of eight hours and 15 minutes. I based the decision on taking my C-sets individually or subsets individually because I was a little worried about the content. There were some subjects I felt I would do really well in and some that I was a little, uh, you know, iffy about. So when I'm referring to subset one, I mean reading, literature, and language, along with history and social sciences. This is all in subset one. Subset two is mathematics and science. This is where I felt my most confident. And I promise you all, I tell you which one I failed. This one was it. I have no idea why I failed this one. Actually, I do. It was because I had no idea what the water cycle was. Trust me, I know what the water cycle is now. I mean, I already knew what it was, you know, precipitation, evaporation, all that stuff. But for whatever reason, I had no idea that the water cycle was the name of that process. What? I know. I know, but that's subset two. Subset three has the most subjects to know. It is human development, physical education, visual and performing arts. So what's the format of this test? Subset one and subset two both have 52 multiple choice questions and four constructed response questions. Subset three has 39 multiple choice questions and three constructed response questions. And after you take this test, when do you get your results to see if you passed? 
Um, it takes about five weeks to get your results back. Go ahead and click get results. From there, this page will come up and you can go ahead and see the release dates for the test you took, which would be the CSET here. You go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click CSET again. You're gonna go ahead and find the test you took, which was the multiple subject CSETs, which will be whoop, down here. And depending on what date you took it, you'll see the release dates to your right. What's the passing score? 220 on each subset. And what happens if you don't pass? Mm, if you failed, you have to wait 45 days from the date you took your test to re-register and take it again. I'm, it's okay if you fail. I didn't expect to fail and I failed um, by one point. I had got a 219 and the passing score is 220 so you could really see why I was upset that I didn't know the water cycle. It's no biggie, girl. I would just say that be cautious and beware of deadlines that you have coming up. So if you're applying for schools, you wanna make sure that you give yourself enough time just in case you fail. Um, so that way you have the chance to retake it and then get your results five weeks later. So how did Miss B study for the CSET? This bad boy right here, this is the Cliff Notes 4th edition. As you can see, I have tons of post-it notes, um, lots of highlighting going on in here. I really like this book because it has a lot of great information, basically all the information I told you. So, you know, just watch this video and then skip to all the other things. Along with using the book, I also just use note cards because that's the way that I study best. On the front, I would write the term, whatever term it might be. And on the back, I wrote its definition. Along with those little note cards, I also had larger note cards where I would practice my constructive response answers. And I would write the topic. So this is for mathematics. So I would get my mind in math. And then this is the question here. And on the back, I would write it without looking at my book just based off of everything I had learned. I'm a very visual person, so I also drew myself some diagrams. The website where you register also has awesome test prep. So you, there's a tab called preparation that will go ahead and give you two different types of test prep. Use YouTube. I mean, we're on this platform, might as well use it to our advantage because there are so many people out there who have provided free content and why not learn from them? If you're feeling anxious or a little nervous or scared don't worry you're not alone I postponed this test so many times and it's okay um, to feel that way I mean this content can be very difficult especially if you haven't studied it or you don't remember it and you're having to relearn it and reteach yourself um, so don't worry it's, it's gonna be fine I'm happy that you're here and that means that you're probably gonna take your C set soon so if you haven't already good luck I'm rooting for you we're all rooting for you so that wraps up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you're gonna be taking the CSET soon, good luck, you got this, I believe in you, and let me know if you passed down below in the comments. See y'all next time, bye.